Um, I'm Scott. This is uh, I'm David. Hi, we're both engineers here at Simple Maps. Yeah, we're pretty excited about this uh, this webinar series. Um, this is the this is the first one, so excuse any uh, sort of hiccups that we have. We're we're still figuring out how to how to best do these uh, webinars. Um, we're currently in the conference room of our new San Francisco office, which is pretty exciting. We just moved in here two weeks ago. Two, three weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. Um, so we'll do a really quick, um, really quick tour here. So here we are in the conference room, and then I'll actually show you the um, <coughs> the outside area where everybody's working right now. So this is uh, this is the office here. Everybody's diligently working, working away. Um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. We were in Berkeley before, but we just we just moved to downtown San Francisco. So it's pretty exciting. Um, so kind of an overview of what we're gonna we're gonna talk about here. This is the first of a four-part webinar series. Uh, this first one is specifically on LIDAR, um, but the overall series is on just the basics of, this, of sensors for autonomous cars. So we're going to cover LIDAR and then IMU and then look at also the sensor fusion between the two um, to create a point cloud. So talking about this particular webinar, what are we going to talk about? Um, first, we're going to go through how we use LIDAR at Civil Maps to give you context. And then we'll go through kind of the basics of LIDAR, how it works, um, how you can kind of read it in and start working with it. Um, then we're going to open it up for more questions. I think we do want questions coming in, and we'll just be answering them. Yeah, I'll be able to probably answer them on the fly for the most part. So David can be doing some some text response, but we can also do uh, some audio speaking response as well. Um, and then we're gonna go do a little bit of a code walkthrough. We're actually open sourcing our hardware abstraction layer. Um, so right now it's just one LiDAR reader just for the purpose of this webinar, but we're gonna be open sourcing different LiDARs from Quantergy and Velodyne. Yeah, we currently have support for the Quantergy M8, the Velodyne VLP16, the HDL32, and the HDL64, um, which all have some unique aspects of writing software for them, um, particularly when it comes to the differences, of different approaches of how to write drivers for the Quantergy versus drivers for the Velodyne, um, of which I've been dealing heavily with recently. Yes. Um, and I'm working to, right now our repository is, is comprises particularly just the VLP16 uh, decoders. Um, and there's some installation scripts and I'll probably be updating the readme and be adding to the repository between now and the next webinar and then um, have a second like larger tagged release for the second webinar when it comes to our IMU code as well. But expect um, regular updates as we intend as an entire company to be like supporting and open sourcing our entire hardware abstraction layer and sort of building that out um, for both outreach to industry um, for our potential customers as well as you know anyone that's interested in using our drivers um, they're completely free to use open source license um, and also as an effort to get as much ubiquitous support from the hardware manufacturer side as well yeah and to, and to kind of add to that, I think we'll, we'll get into the code maybe a little bit later, but we've also kind of written it very dependency-free and lightweight, um, which um, has been something that we haven't really been able to find, something very lightweight with no dependencies. 